Hi everyone, it's Kim. So I'm going to do a cutting video and um, I'll try to maybe do as many as I can. I won't cut all of them. I'll just cut a few so we can see what they look like. Um, these are all the book inspired. What I'm going to put on my website is uh, Sentimental Secretorum just because it's like, you know, it's a, the books are kind of about alchemy and witches and vampires and it's a book series called All Souls Trilogy by Deborah Harkness. And um, I've been addicted to the, the, the last couple of books, and I listen to the audiobooks all the time. I keep repeating myself, but I'm just trying to explain the reason why I'm doing this. And some of the characters in the books, whether they be, um, well, most, well, mostly the, the vampires have scents, um, but, but they all have different scents. And so when I saw that, I thought, well, here me being a soap and candle maker, that was a challenge. I wanted to see if I could do it. And of course it's my interpretation of what the scents are because everybody, you can write lavender, peppermint, and this, and it'll, it'll smell different depending on the soap maker or the candle maker, whoever do, puts the scents together. So this is um, Isabo, and um, I love that name by the way. She is supposed to smell like sarsaparilla soda and caramels. Um, and so I did a blend with that. Now it's going to turn um, a, a much deeper shade, but the lighter part should stay a little bit lighter. Anyway, who would think? It smells really so good together. And I'm turning it this way so I don't drag the, the rose petals through there. And also, these, somebody asked me on my page, the little seeds that are on the top, those are anise seeds. They're not, um, I say anise, some say anise, but I call them anise seeds. Um, they are not fennel, they are anise seeds, but they smell kind of like licorice. So right now it's showing light, but this will stay lighter and this will get darker. So there will be a contrast, it's just subtle. Because her character in the book is very sophisticated and she loves, she's very stylish, but she likes neutral tones. And so that's why I kind of did with this with this type on here. So anyway, let's do another one. And like I said, these are very simple. I did the top, my usual kind of style there, and there's some iridescent glitter and some gold glitter on top, and then these are pink rose petals. And she is the matriarch of this, this vampire family in the books called the Declaremonts. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, I'm going to stop cutting her since we've seen what she looks like on the inside. So I can get as many as I can done in the video without it being too long. And let me go get another one. Okay, now this one is... I guess the star, Diana is this, this, um, the witches in the book, they're born, it's hereditary, you have to be born and to be a witch, to have your powers and everything, and her parents, she always believed were killed by humans, and it was because of them being witches when she was seven, so she has denied her heritage and tried to be and pretend to be human throughout her whole life, and she's a scholar, and she's in Oxford, and she comes across this magical book that she's still searching for in book two, but it's what the whole book, the story is based upon, and she studies alchemy as far as, you know, the history, history of alchemy, and so um, a lot of the book is about, his, about alchemy and stuff like that, and how her and this vampire that she gets involved with is related to al alchemy. And so anyway, I'm butchering the story, but I'd rather somebody just read the book themselves and take what they want from it. But it's an excellent series. Okay, so I have some um, pockets here, but I'm not worried about it. The scent, this is going to get darker. Um, the scent, it's delicious. I would say it's an oriental floral, an amber, oriental amber type of scent. It's sweet, it's just beautiful. And to me, when I smelled it, I did some testing the samples for um, um, Moonworks. 
uh, I couldn't get out of my head. To me, this was Diana. And so I did a mica swirl on top with silver mica and with a blue, um, a real light blue mica because her eyes are light blue, and chamomile because she's supposed to smell like chamomile and honey and all kinds of ancient things. And it will darken. Except for the areas that are lighter, those will, those will be lighter. And I have a partial gel circle, but I mean, I do, I gel the whole thing, but it's just, that's probably going to go away only because the whole thing did gel. real pretty and then I guess I can show you these are the books that I'm going to package them in these boxes and each one of the characters um, I put their initial inside this Ouroboros because their Ouroboros is a symbol of their family except for this Ouroboros isn't just a, a, a serpent it actually has her symbol there too or her familiar and um, on mine, this one doesn't have it on there, but we used the alchemy symbols for oil, water, wax, and lye. This ones are not them, but on the one that's, this was just a practice one, but on the final one, that's what my alchemy symbols are, because I thought it was appropriate for my, you know, since I, that's what I do. And then, I didn't remember what the name of this is, but this is called a forage design. On a lot of the old books that they had back in, you know, the olden times, they would paint paintings and things on the edges of books. So I had my son, we put this thing together, and he overlaid an uh, Elizabethan image of um, London on top of uh, a picture of a graphic of a book edge, and so that's where that comes from. And then this was actually a book page, an old manuscript page, and we just changed some of the words out and everything so it would fit what I'm selling here as far as my, my products, as far as, because I'm going to have perfume oils and um, the, um, the, the bar soap, and then also some candles and some wax tarts. But anyway, so this is how they come. Not the candles, the candles won't fit in there. I actually got these cute little jars for the candles. Let me show you. Normally my jars are much bigger, but I have lids like this on my other jars, so when I found these, I thought this was ideal, and I ordered a wax seal to go with it. Because on mine, I brand the top of my branding iron, but I'm not going to go to that extent just for something that's a little series. But anyway, these are little six ounce candles that I'll have the scents in if anybody likes candles. So, anyway, I did a couple of Diana. So, this is Diana. She's the main character. And I called this scent Malion because the vampire who she's in love with, he calls her Malion, which means my lioness, because she always has to fight against so many obstacles. This one is the vampire, Matthew de Claremont. <sighs> yes, every girl's dream that's read the book. Um, he's a 37, he's a 1500 year old vampire that turned into a vampire when he was about 37 years of age. And so, anyway, and he is supposed to smell like clove, spices, um, cinnamon. Um, and when he's amorous, he's supposed to smell like um, old fashioned carnation like what they call clove pinks which is a really spicy carnation carnations nowadays don't really have that type of scent in them anymore i would kind of equate it to what stock smells like that type of a flower um so what i did was in this blend i felt that since he likes a lot of wine i mixed a carnation and clove and um, a bay rum and um, a wine together and some sandalwood to ground it for him just to give it that masculine note, but it smells delicious, even if I do say so myself. And you see, his family, they're knights, so I thought that the silver was a good idea because of his armor, you know, the knight of the knight in shining armor. Yeah. And I'm really into these books, can't you tell? Okay. And so his eyes are supposed to be celadon green, and he's got dark hair, so that was where the green and the the dark came from. That's beautiful. I love it. I like this one much better than my first ones that I did. The first test run I did last year, I made the, the batter too white. It was too white. And I like the way these, um, um, 
hanger swirls look this time better. So yes, and his and I'm calling this one Declaremont. All the other ones I'm just using their name or their initial, but because these two are the, the main stars of the books, I wanted them to have something special for them. So yeah, this is Declaremont. So I'm gonna put this over here. And I'm gonna go ahead, my son's having a lot of fun on his games with his friends. So I'm gonna start now on the next one. Okay, now this one is Matthew's brother, Baldwin, who became a vampire in Roman times. He didn't have a scent in the book, but I'm on a book forum, uh, on the book forum for this, for the, a group for this, um, on Facebook, and a lot of the women really love this character, and so we had, like, a, a discussion, a thread about what he would smell like, and since he deals with international finance and destroying people through their money and everything, um, we just, you know, they said he had to smell like, um, money, leather, um, no patchouli, because he's not a, um, a hippie. Um, so I wanted a sophisticated type of a masculine leather um, um, scent. And it does. It smells like money, wallet. Um, yeah, it's interesting. So anyway, this one is called, it's, it's B or Baldwin. And I selected the colors because I just, I think of him as like, even though I, that's not how he is in the book, but since he was a Roman soldier, I'm just thinking of these kind of russety colors and then the gold. So I just felt like it went with him. Those swirls turned out really nice in that. And then the top is the um, gold mica. That's 24 karat gold mica that I just used a, a pipette to blow on there and it gives that kind of a sheen to it. Well, I'm really, I love the way these, these swirls came out. I don't think that he's going to get very dark, his colors. That, you know, they might darken a little, but not with my experience with these oils that I use. They don't really darken. But it's a very um, sexy kind of a scent. Mm, smells good. Okay, so that is um, Baldwin. characters is a is, is the main character Matthew's nephew and um, he is I'm not sure how old he is but I know that he was a Viking before and it's just his personality in the book and his loyalty and everything he's and he's supposed to smell like his scent is described in the book and he's supposed to smell like sea salt and mint and so that's what I feel like this scent is I have um, sea salt on the top and um, oh, it smells good. My daughter love it, loves it. I have dead sea salt in here. And, I mean, dead sea uh, mud in here, grains. And so we'll see what it looks like. It does darken a little, but not much more than what it is right now. I love that. I love the colors. I wish my camera could focus better. I hope I'm in the screen here. Ugh. Just enough hit um, um, you and I had sea kelp that I used in there as far as the fragrance, so it definitely has that 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 ocean salty ocean type of a smell. So um, yeah, my son is really going crazy on his game in there. So yes, this is Gala Glass. He's not in the first book, but he's in the second. Book. I got a crack on the top, but I don't, I don't mind cracks. It's like, to me, I always equate it to when you make a loaf of bread, it's not going to make a difference with it or not. It lathers, you know. It, 
adds rustic quality to it. Okay, now I'm going to get the next one. Okay, now, unknowingly, this ended up being one of my most favorite as far as the designs go. I love the colors. Um, this is, in the book they have um, otherworldly creatures, which are demons, which they spell D-A-E-M-O-N-S, and vampires and witches. Well, the demons are really genius, and they're not like what we, you know, normally equate demons as. They are usually artists and actors, and they just are very artistic. Um, but this guy's smart as far as finance, and he's the, the main character's best friend and um, one of the knights. And so um, he refers in the book to um, a poem by William Blake called The Tiger, and so I thought that would be appropriate to use for his design. And also, in one of the scenes, he shows up, and he's got a, I think she said, I'm not sure exactly the color that she described, but it was like a hot pink or magenta tie that had black flies on it. And so I thought, well, for a pop of color, I was going to add the magenta just to keep it from being, you know, just boring natural colors. So anyway, let's see what it turns out like. This is the one I was really excited to see what the inside was going to look like because I love the top. Ooh, yeah. Okay, this is my favorite. Look at that. That is awesome. Okay, so that's lavender. So he is described as smelling, I forgot to say that, he's described as um, as smelling like um, peppermint and lavender. And so I went ahead and added, took my own liberty, and he likes to drink bourbon and whiskey. Um, that's his drink. And so I thought what I would use... Um, bourbon vanilla because it's a very masculine type of a vanilla scent almost like the old-fashioned barbershop type of smell but different and so I added that with the um, lavender and the peppermint essential oil to give it more of a masculine scent but that is gorgeous I mean I'm sorry I'm not supposed to say that but even if I do say so myself I love it look Olivia Olivia thank you my daughter's here Let me show another one. Oh, I love this one. Yep. It's a winner for me. Ugh. Okay, so that is Hamish, I must say. Now, the last one is the patriarch of the family. And... He is, I don't even know how old he is, but he's older than time of than men's memories because he, he's, he's supposed to be basically um, Hercules when he gives his true name when he's in this one point in the book. And so, but he's the patriarch of the family. He's the main character's, um, you know, vampire father. And so since he was this ancient times, I thought... And he's real, you know, like he's real simple type of taste and things like that. That I would just leave his body of the soap because it's such a great brisk masculine scent, and do a do a um, a swirl with just a swirl that had some apricot kernel powder and then some without it, and I had titanium dioxide in here just to make it lighter. And then I thought of him with those the way back in the ancient times when they wore those laurel leaf. Um, um, head crowns and so I cut some some basically some laurel leaves out of um, some bars of soap that I had as testers and then um, I tumbled them in a Ziploc baggie with um, gold mica apricot kernel powder for texture and some chamomile powder and um, then on the top around it I tried to do, but it wouldn't really work because I wanted it to have that kind of like a ancient Greek column type of a texture to it. I used silver mica for the oil, and then I used the gold mica for the um, glycerin swirl. But when I covered it with um, the, the laurel crown, it didn't really make any difference. So let's see how it goes. 
Hopefully they won't all fall out whenever I cut. And like I said, there's nothing special on the inside. Not really. It's like, yeah, see, it's just plain. But, oh, it smells good. And so it's just plain on the inside. And then on the very top, I have some chopped rosemary because he's supposed to smell like rosemary and, and, um, and bay or laurel, which for him, you know, that would be appropriate considering who he is and what is, you know, where he comes from and everything. So anyway, it's very simple and very, you know, very plain, but the scent is the star. And like I said, I put those leaves on the top. The next time I make it, I'm probably going to do a little bit of a swirl. I'll use some of the gold mica, and I'll do a little swirl in there. I wish I could do a Greek key. That's what I would really like to do. So I have to, if I can figure out how to do a Greek key on the inside, that's really what my goal is. And then I'll do the laurel leaves on the top. Just have to figure out how to do it. If any of you guys know how to do it, if you don't mind sharing, I would appreciate it. But for right now, a nice clean bar like this with the um, golden laurels on the top suits him for me. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. And um, I appreciate you watching. And I'm going to be making some of my butter cups and another couple of batches, whether it's today or tomorrow. And um, I'll keep in touch. Thanks. Have a great day.